What's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another Let's Play where we are trying out another brand new game today. Uh, this one is called Arizona Derby. Uh, it's the an ultimate off-road racing game is what they're saying. Uh, made by a team of two people, apparently, is what, from my understanding. Uh, it's supposed to have a, a ton of tracks, a ton of cars to choose from, lots of customizing, and supposed to, I mean, it looked pretty good. Uh, so I chose this one to kind of uh, go over today and take a look at. Um, the game doesn't actually come out until July 12th on Steam. Uh, you can go, guys can go check out the Steam page for that. Um, check out all the information you want to on that. But I know you're mostly interested in what's it look like, how's it play. So let's go ahead and jump into this here. So I do not want to go into anything as far as... Any of that. So let's see. How do we start here? Here we go. Play, cars, driver, options, community. Uh, all right. Let's do. Let's do play. And let's do. Uh, we'll do a couple of these here. This uh, Siberia run and this forest ride sounds good. Let's let's try that. Let's see what that looks like. Uh, okay. Apparently she's talking. I can't hear what she's saying. Hey hey hey. Look oh. who's there. It's my pleasure to invite you to the forest rampage here. Okay. In well, her voice is off. Not sure why that is. All right, let's go ahead and just start race. Not sure what's going on with there. The graphics so far uh, from the intro screen and everything aren't really impressing me much. Uh, and this is in 4K. I mean, it looks pretty good though, from what I can tell from just a couple of people who are probably making their first game. I don't know. Um, don't know the history of it. Well, that lens flares. Looks like it's straight out of a J.J. Abrams movie. Okay, here we go. Uh, okay. Gotta get the hang of, uh... Gotta get the hang of the controls here a little bit. I am playing with an Xbox controller today. I love playing. Uh, I prefer the Xbox controller over any other controller that I've ever played. It's one of my favorites. So when I do need to play with the controller, I choose this one. Well, I'm in the lead. Not so hard, really, yet. I'm a go oh! Yeah. He says as he... Ah! That car did it too. It's not just me. Well, the terrain is interesting. Oh. Uh, I was in the lead. Okay. Ah, uh, these camera angles. What? What the hell is up with these camera angles? Oh my god. I was in the lead, and I went from first to last. Yeah, uh, a little bit. Okay. Take my first place back. Here we go. I'm pretty sure I'm on top of that one. Mm. Okay, physics wise. I don't know. Straight off road. Oh. Okay. Hopefully, if we get to, uh, is that the finish line? I think that's the finish line. Take first place. That was not the finish line. It goes into slow mo mode whenever you do a jump. Okay, looks like we're going up a hill here. I'm gonna flip it. I'm gonna flip it. You did a great job. Did I? Are you sure about that game? Great job. You did a great job. Apparently, I'm doing a great job. Oh. 
Okay. I'm trying to stay out of the water for now. This is so crazy. That water is taller than my car, and yet somehow I go through it? Okay. My car's muddy. I mean, effects on that are pretty good. I think I need a wash. Let's wash our car off a little bit there. There we go. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. I'm with you, Biggie. We love you. Matrix mode in your racing there. Great job. Oh god, these controls are terrible. I did a great job. I wrecked my car. That's such a great job. Amazing. Amazing. Okay. I'm in third place. It's amazing. I'm in third place because of the crappy controls here. Oh. Did I hit that? I, I don't know if I got that or not. One less car. Yeah. Three less cars now. Four. What? What is this? Oh my god. Look out. Okay, this is this is a little ridiculous. Monster Jam game that just came out? I think that actually might be somewhat better. Those those are known for being fantastic games, right? Oh, this is a shame. I really wanted to enjoy this game. I really did. So far, I'm seeing some... Uh, some issues that I don't particularly care for. What? What hit me? I'm riding on the front of a car. I can't get off of it. I'm stuck. Um. Well, take me to the finish line at least. Oh, you've. Uh, okay. Alrighty then. Well, there was a, that was a fantastic first race. Fantastic first race. Save some money on gas at the end there. <laughs> okay. All right. Can we just choose a different racetrack now? Yeah, we can. All right, let's check out. Let's see what the snow looks like. Let's check out the Siberia run here. I mean, I can barely drive this thing on land. I'm sure ice and snow is going to be fun. a little weird. It's a little, a little glistening. A little metallic. I don't think I've ever seen metallic snow. The sound effects are kind of good though. Like I can hear it like the sound of that tires make on snow or frozen ground. Sounds, that sounds awesome. I like the matrix mode here. 
wait. Car on the side. This is insane. Uh, it's insane that they fix these cars that work this way. What? This is this is bad. I literally just hit a hill. Oh, okay. We'll check out Tropical maybe after this one. Maybe that could be good. I'm gonna flip the car because I went over a hill. What? Oh, that would make me mad. The trucks are quite long. Yeah, I'm not particularly fond of that. I wish they quit running into me. Or at least take some of the impact off of that. This is, uh, the impact itself is enough to even cause you to lose a game. This is like Mario Kart in its own way. Where's the banana pills? I mean, I'm sure I probably couldn't do much better than this. If it was me designing this game, I most likely probably would not be able to do better than this. I mean, the game is, it's got its own kind of graphical look, but this is, uh, this is a bit off. It's the controls that are mostly bugging me. Not so much the graphics. The graphics are fine for, uh, for an indie game. Especially for early access and stuff, but I mean they don't have much longer before this game actually releases So I would hope that Some of these issues are checked Oh see I'm, I'm out this is crazy. Right. Did a great job. I did a great job guys. I did a great job Great job there. I'm I'm in last place What a great job I did. I don't even know which way I'm going. I just went into a ditch! Mm-hmm. The ultimate off-roading experience right here. I'm stuck again. I can't... I'm... Thank you. Thank you. I mean, at least I'm I'm upward, upward and onward, I guess. This is, uh, yeah, this is definitely an off-road experience, for sure. I'm sorry, I'm trying not, to, I'm trying not to talk bad about the game. I couldn't even stop there to go through the. It's like if you're not in with the other cars, they go. 10 miles an hour until they're behind you and then they just really want to ram you off the road. Where's the next thing? This is uh, <laughs> well it's an experience alright. I've used that line already but that, I mean what else can I say about this? Driving on this metallic ice snow from a nuclear fallout, I, I believe. This frozen water? Well, it kind of felt like it, even though it doesn't act like it. Yeah! 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 I mean, I might as well just, at this point, just kind of not worry about even trying to Wicked. win. Wicked! Yeah. 
Okay, so... Cool, man! Cool, man! Okay, I, I, these sound effects are just... I feel like this might have been designed by a guy who was like, I'm gonna be a rapper. And then he was just like, oh, I'm not a successful rapper. I'm just gonna make a game. I'm gonna find another person to make a game for me so I can put my music on it. Yeah, yeah, uh-huh, what up? Arizona Derby, y'all. Uh, ultimate off-road experience. I'm gonna talk and act like it's rapping. Because that's the thing right now. Oh, okay. All right. Carry on my wayward son here. What? <laughs> oh, God. Okay, I... I'm not carrying you through the finish line, dude. Get off me. There we go. Okay. This is, uh... <laughs> oh, man. Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah. Miss you, Biggie. What up? Wicked. Cool, man. Oh, God. This is... Oh, I, I really want to like this game, and yet... It really doesn't want me to. <laughs> I'm noticing I can't even, like, the controls aren't even responsive, like right here. I can't use A on my controller to even click continue. I literally have to go up here and use the mouse to click continue. So, even though it wants you to use a controller to play this game, to race with, because it gave me the instructions on how to drive with a controller, it's like, we don't want you to use a controller for everything, though. So. And apparently this game is... Coming to Xbox. The, the audio is like way off. And this comes out July 12th. I hope they made of 2020 because this is this is nowhere near finished yet. This is this is not good. All right, we'll do one more. I thought I was going to do Dubai, but you know what? Let's do Tropical Storm. Let's see what they their idea of a Tropical Storm is. Oh, is he? Oh, is he? I'm gonna put my bandana on and close one eye. It makes me look more badass. <laughs> uh, okay, well, let's try this. To end things, let's see what driving in a tropical area is like. Okay, you can hit the start button on your controller to change songs so that you're not listening to the same song. But it's the same... That's literally... That, that is literally a tree that I could probably push down with my foot. But I guess... I guess a car can't run over that, though. Okay. Watch out! Yeah, we don't we don't want any of that. You know, Rubin's racing. All right, this is ridiculous. Mm. Okay. <laughs> uh. Oh, up here. Okay. I don't. I mean, I can kind of see where I need to go, sorta. But I guess you really kind of have to learn the tracks to be good at this. Which I mean, I guess it's like any racing game. Um, okay. I don't feel like I could have made that turn. Like, it's... Am I racing actual cars or remote control cars? I feel like this is like an RC car I'm racing. And everything is so shiny. Everything has, like, got, like, a metallic look to it. And this is the graphics on, uh, not Ultra, but these are the graphics on High.
I will give it this. It is running quite well on 4K. I mean, if this is what you consider quite well. For what the graphics actually are, this is so crazy. I mean, you know, it's running smooth. I'm, I might be, I can't tell if I'm getting 60 frames a second or not right now, but I mean, it does kind of make me, it doesn't feel off. Oh, I don't want to hit a small branch. I'll be out of the entire game. Pit stop there. Be careful of leaves as well. I'm sure maybe a turtle might get in my way here. I'm going across the ocean. I'm going through water deeper than my car, but let's keep going. Even though my exhaust is covered in water at this point, I probably should have maybe drowned out my engine, but no. No. We'll keep going like a boss. Race cars like a boss. Hit cars like a boss. Wreck vehicles like a boss. Hit trees like a boss. Run over animals like a boss. Drop through the water like a boss. Well, I'm making my own rap song now. I, isn't rap anybody's game? doubt I'll ever get another free game from these developers, but, uh, I mean, do I even want one? <laughs> this is, mm, okay, I don't even know what the price of this game is right now. Uh, if this game is less than 10 bucks, it might be worth picking up. It, it might be worth it for less than $10. I feel like they have, they, I, I hate ripping on the game, because I feel like this is probably, like a couple of people who put their heart and soul into this game. You did a great job. Oh, as soon as I hit something, I did a great job. Did you see what a great job I did there? I was spinning my car around and still winning. I guess I did do a great job then. Oh, I, actually, because I think I was the only one racing. What? Oh, there they are. Okay. They, I'm just, what? Just keep running into me. Why not? Uh, okay, I think this is about as much as I could possibly say about this game right now at this point. Um, there's there's not a whole lot else that I can say. I think seeing is believing. And I think you guys have seen enough as well. So, I'm going to leave it at that. Um, it's a game that, if it's less than $10 and you are just looking for something to play maybe pick this game up. Uh, I, I probably would not suggest this game for anybody who is looking for the ultimate off-road experience. Uh, I would probably suggest uh, Forza Horizon 4 would be a great, fantastic game for that. It's it's a great game. Or or like I said, I, I think the new Monster Jam game just came out that, that actually might be better than this. All right, guys. Thank you for joining me for this Let's Play here of Arizona Derby, a game that I desperately wanted to like because it looked so good, and yet... I am not impressed. I think it needs to go back to the drawing board. I think it needs longer in early access before it comes out. It's like, it's, again, its release date is July 12th. I think this needs to be pushed back to maybe July 12th of 2020. And, and it needs more polishing for sure. It definitely feels completely unpolished. So that's going to do it for me from here on my side. You guys have a great rest of the evening wherever you are in the world. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and good night. Thanks for watching. Arizona Derby Let's Play. See you later. What's up, everybody? Thank you for watching the video. If you haven't already, make sure you click that subscribe button down below and click on the bell to stay on top of all my new videos and live streaming events here on YouTube. I also want to give a huge shout out to all the names you see on the right for their support through donations, Patreon, and through Twitch subs. If you would like to join their ranks and you are able, you can do so by clicking on any of those links in the video description down below. No worries, though. If you don't like giving away money like that, you can still support the channel by purchasing games or anything through Green Man Gaming, through Humble Bundle, or through Amazon by clicking on my links and making your purchase. A little bit of that goes towards me to support the channel. If you still can't get enough of me, you can always check me out live on twitch.tv 
and stay up to date with me on Twitter as well. Now that's going to be it, but I can't say thank you enough for all your support here on the channel. Wherever you guys are in the world, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and good night. See you later.